Hey there. Um, I just made a short video on uh, on uh, how to evolve from a, a technician, as an e-myth, from a doer, up the ranks to more of a manager. And uh, I talked about making an org chart by function, and then um, and then uh, putting your name in to see where. Uh, you are so if you're in too many sort of lower level technical roles, you're aware of that So the next step is when you find out that you're on all those roles Okay, you don't necessarily have the budget to immediately uh, Move people in there. So you're what you're doing is you're moving up the org chart in other words uh, Your functions up the org chart in other words at the bottom of the org chart is um, is very tactical you know, if you're taking pictures to post on Amazon, that's very tactical. Um, at the top of the org chart, if you're the CEO, it's very strategic. And frankly, the leverage of your hours um, uh, and the output, the results of the time you spend at the higher levels is greater. If on a strategic basis as the CEO, you get an amazing line of credit or you do a joint venture with someone, that has a lot of impact. Um, so. As you, if you're the COO, for example, uh, or the CEO, and you have roles down in the trenches, then move yourself out. How do you do that? Well, uh, you just start looking for good people and hiring them to do those roles. Of course, you don't necessarily have the budget to do it all at once. No problem. Um, you do it slowly. You're always looking. How can I shed uh, responsibilities and pass them on to others? And uh, maybe in this particular role that I share with someone, I could have that person do more by maybe giving them more tools or more training so I don't have to participate in that. The other is keep in mind that when we are, especially founders of companies, we think that uh, if we don't do it, it's not going to get done right. I mean, that's very typically the case. So if you're in a box in that org chart, and um, ask yourself in all those more, uh, more tactical, technical, so to speak, roles, do you really need to be in that box? Uh, couldn't somebody else maybe do it? Could it be a part-time person? Uh, I'm a big fan of Upwork. Upwork, as you probably know, is a, a, a giant worldwide freelance um, sort of a Amazon where you go on and you look for somebody that can do what you do. So. Uh, what you need. In other words, um, if you need a customer relationship or customer service people, that's a typical outsourced one. Uh, you may need people to do research. You may need people to do order entry. You may need people to, um, you know, to uh, uh, to do whatever. So I've used it a lot. I've turned my clients, uh, all of my clients onto it, and most of them use it and are thrilled. Uh, it allows you to get just that person for that job for the amount of time you need at a very good rate, typically. So that's a, another strategy for getting yourself out of those lower level roles. Uh, we'll talk now, or next time we'll talk about how to make those, um, make sure you get the right people in there and you don't uh, uh, run into trouble with the wrong person uh, in, in a role, all right? So stay tuned. Thanks for listening. Talk soon.